Picture a world over two and a half thousand years ago where the seeds of what would become one of the greatest empires in history were just starting to sprout. This is the dawn of Rome, a city founded in 753 BC, according to legend, by Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf. The beginnings of the Roman kingdom were humble, a small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River. Yet it was here that the foundations of an empire were laid. The influence of the Etruscans, a civilization from northern Italy, and the Greek colonies in the south, played significant roles in shaping Rome's early culture, politics, and architecture. These were the formative years, the birth of a city that would rise from a small kingdom to a vast republic, and eventually, a powerful empire. And so, the stage was set for a city that would grow to conquer the known world. Fast forward to 509 BC, the Roman kingdom was overthrown, and a new era, the Roman Republic, was born. This marked a dramatic shift in Roman governance, with power now resting in the hands of the Senate, a council of elders, and the consuls. The top officials elected annually. The Senate was the backbone of the Republic, the ultimate decision-making body, while the consuls held military and judicial power. As the Republic grew, so too did its ambition. Rome expanded its territories through a series of conquests, growing from a city-state to a burgeoning empire. The Punic Wars stand as a testament to Rome's military might and strategic prowess. These legendary conflicts with Carthage, while costly, resulted in Rome securing dominance over the Mediterranean. Yet with expansion came growing pains. The Republic's governance structure strained under the weight of its own success. The Republic would bring Rome glory and power, but it would also sow the seeds of its own downfall. By 27 BC, the Republic was no more, replaced by an empire with a single man at its helm. A seismic shift had taken place. Rome had transitioned from a Republic, a government of the many, to an empire, a government of the one. Julius Caesar, a key player in this transformation, pushed the boundaries of Roman rule, extending the empire's reach all the way to Britain. But it was his audacious power grab that truly set the stage for the empire. With his death, the Republic's fate was sealed. Augustus, Caesar's heir and Rome's first emperor, took the reins. He cleverly maintained the illusion of the Republic while consolidating power. Under his rule, Rome entered a period of relative peace and prosperity known as the Pax Romana. The line of emperors that followed was a mixed bag, there was Nero, infamous for his debauchery and suspected of setting Rome ablaze. Then there was Trajan, a military genius who expanded the empire to its greatest extent. These emperors, for better or for worse, left their mark on Rome, shaping its culture, its politics, and its legacy. They wielded power unimaginable in the days of the Republic, transforming Rome into an empire that would endure for centuries. But empires, no matter how grand, are not immortal. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it didn't fall in a day either. The decline of the Roman Empire was a slow and insidious process that spanned centuries. It was an empire that once spanned three continents, a beacon of civilization and a testament to human achievement, but it proved to be as mortal as the men who built it. The cracks started to show with economic instability, the wealth gap widened, and the heavy taxation to support military expenditures led to inflation. The debasement of the Roman currency, the denarius, further fueled this economic crisis. Then, Rome was divided. The vast empire, once united, was split into the east and west. This division was meant to make governance more manageable, but it only served to weaken the empire further. The western part of the empire, with Rome as its capital, was the most affected. It was poorer, less urbanized, and more prone to barbarian invasions. And the invasions came. The Visigoths, a Germanic tribe, sacked Rome in 410 AD. This was a devastating blow, but it was not the final one. The Western Roman Empire continued to stagger on for some time, until it was finally extinguished by the last of many invasions in 476 AD. Yet, even in its fall, Rome left an indelible mark on the world, shaping our laws, our languages, and so much more.